Here's a quick peek again at my meal plan for the week. If you want more details on this meal plan, I did a whole video on it, so you can go check that up in the cards. Today is Thursday, and I'm about ready to go chop up my giant ham and get the black bean soup going. I'm also going to, I'm going to chop up the whole ham so it's ready for the twice baked potatoes and for the wild rice soup because I'm going to be using it in there too because I just want to really get it used up. Also, when I chop up my veggies for the black bean soup, I'll go ahead and chop up extra for the wild rice soup so that will be ready to go. The recipe I'm using for the Instant Pot Black Bean and Ham Soup is from SweetAnnas.com. It's a pretty simple recipe. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and get the uh, ham. Unless they have you cook the beans first before you put in the ham. No, I guess not. Everything goes in and cooks together. So I'm not going to take the time to make the broth from the ham bone right now. Um, just because I have a ton of chicken broth already and I just don't want to take the time to do it. But I am going to throw the bone into the freezer so maybe I'll do it later. bag and put it in the freezer for another time. Making Renee. Um, oh yeah. We got it all cut up into bite-sized pieces for you. Yeah. That's so nice. That will be such a good snack. This is bacon grease left over from a breakfast a couple days ago. And I love in the recipe that they listed bacon grease as an option for sauteing the vegetables. 
So that makes things taste so much better. Whenever I cook with tomato products or sugars in the Instant Pot that might scorch on the bottom, I like to add them on top of the rest of the, the ingredients and then not stir them in. And that just helps to avoid the possibility of getting a burn notification. going to put a couple containers of this ham into the freezer and it will be easy to throw into soups later on. Just pop it in frozen into the Instant Pot. Makes it so simple. And Renee, what was that? Your Duplo cake? Yeah. Okay. And then the rest of this I'm going to put in the fridge and some of it will be for the Wild rice soup, and some of it will be for Levi to munch on because he really liked it. And it's like the throw into scrambled eggs and stuff if I want to in the morning. I accidentally got unsalted tortilla chips at Trader Joe's the other day, so I decided to make them all into nachos to go with the black bean soup. I sprayed them with a little bit of oil with my misto, and then I uh, sprinkled them with salt and added the cheese and broiled them for just a few minutes until they were nice and bubbly and crispy, and everybody loved them. So today is Friday and we made the black bean soup last night and it was a big hit. Um, I mean, I have some kids that don't like that kind of things, like uh, Renee and Charity weren't super excited about it, but they ate it and didn't fight it too hard. But my husband said it was amazing. Autumn said it was really amazing. So uh, that was definitely a win. It was not as thick as I had hoped for um, when I first took the lid off of the Instant Pot, so uh, you saw that I mashed the beans a little bit to thicken it up, but then it still wasn't as thick as I thought it should be, so I turned the Instant Pot on saute mode and let it boil down for, I don't know, maybe 20 or 25 minutes, and that reduced the liquid a little more, and so it got a little thicker, but um, like I said, everybody loved it, so that recipe is going to be in the rotation from now on. The only thing that I changed from the recipe, I think, Besides not measuring the like vegetables and stuff, I, I just 
through in what I had. And so uh, besides that, the only thing I changed was I had a container of salsa that needed to be used up. So I just threw that in, figured it wouldn't hurt too much. Um, that could be why it was a little more watery than I expected, but it wasn't that much salsa. Anyways, that's the only thing I changed, but uh, the recipe is really good. The link will be down in the description. This afternoon, I figured I would go ahead and cook up the wild rice soup and try to do the air fryer baked potatoes. Uh, and Because, you know, things like soup, they taste better when they've sat in the fridge overnight anyway. And since I have all the stuff prepped and ready to just throw together, I figured I'd go ahead and get that cooked and then I'll be in the fridge for whenever I want to pull it out over the weekend. That'll be, make for a nice relaxing weekend. Uh, the uh, air fryer baked potatoes, I grossly overestimated how much how many potatoes I had left in the fridge. I don't have enough to make a whole meal plus freeze any. So um, we're just gonna cook them up and the kids will have those and, and my husband will have those for dinner tonight. I do have the two from the previous batch in the freezer so I still can test how uh, they cook from frozen. So I'll do that and hopefully I'll get some good info to share with you on those. Here are all of my ingredients for the soup. These potatoes kind of fell apart and so I'm going to be using those for the soup. I have a video on my wild rice soup using chicken but it's easy to sub with the um, cook cam instead and since I'm cooking in my eight quart duo evo plus I'm going to double the recipe so I'm just going to throw everything in. Well I might saute my veggies real quick first. Why not? And um, then throw everything else in and then pressure cook it for a few minutes. I forget what I put in the recipe but it shouldn't take more than I don't know six or eight minutes and uh, that'll be good and then I have some chicken wings air frying right now um, for a late lunch but um, after that's done I'll be able to cook some of the air fryer baked potatoes and then we will be set for the weekend veggies are pretty much done with sauteing. One thing I like to do when I am uh, making soup just to save time is to measure out spices um, while you know things are sauteing and then they're ready to just dump in when it's time. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my broth. Ooh. It was just a little bit of fat on the top of the broth this time so I decided to just leave it. If it's a really big disc of fat I will scrape it off. I just realized I forgot to do the salt though so I still need to add that. Potatoes and the wild rice. This is just all the wild rice I had in the freezer. I figured I might as well use it all. And I don't add any extra cook time because the um, wild rice is frozen. The instant pot will just take a little bit longer to come up to pressure uh, because it's it's going to take longer to heat the frozen stuff. So no worries on that. I'm, gonna, I'm not measuring the ham. I'm just going to eyeball it here. Uh, that's probably good. A couple teaspoons of salt. I just went back and looked at my video and I have the cook time at 15 minutes, which actually is probably more than it needs. It's not gonna really hurt it, but there's no reason to cook it that long. I was a newbie back then. That was like three years ago that I made that video. So I'm gonna do high pressure for, I think I'm just gonna do eight minutes and it should be plenty.
kids fun meal of chicken strips and mac and cheese. Not stuff that we eat every week, but it's nice for them to have a treat sometime. And there's um, plenty enough for uh, Jeff, my husband, to have for dinner when he gets home. So I'm going to keep it simple today. Today's Saturday and we're not going to, I'm not going to cook a big meal. I might try to do the ramen tomorrow. Autumn chopped up a whole bunch of vegetables in the fridge before they went bad so that we could have those along with all of our leftovers for today, which is Sunday. Do you need hummus to go with your cucumbers this time? Of course. Okay, I'll get it for you. So what was your new recipe, Renee? It's sandwich with fried eggs, cucumbers, and hummus. That is amazing. Cucumber sandwich with a square of fried eggs and some hummus. Girl, this is revolutionary. Today's Sunday and the last meal I have on the meal plan is the chicken ramen, but I think I'm gonna push that back uh, for next week. I ended up using up all of the broth that I made last week. I didn't have to put any in the freezer, which is great. Oftentimes I'll, it'll sit in my fridge for a little while and I'll realize I'm not gonna use it all up before um, you know, it goes bad and so I throw it in the freezer. But um, I made so many soups this week and different things that I was able to use it up. So of course I don't wanna make another batch right now to do the chicken ramen and I didn't have anything else that needed to be used up to make the ramen. The chicken is still frozen, all that. So it's easy to save that meal for another week. So I guess that's gonna wrap up my dinners video for the week. But if you do wanna see how I make the chicken ramen, I have a video on that. I will link here at the end. And I will see you again real soon.